As cities across the country address the cost of repairing aging roads, sewers, and other infrastructure, many community leaders are meeting this challenge by incorporating green infrastructure. When designed and maintained properly, green infrastructure can provide a variety of economic, ecological, and recreational benefits. Green infrastructure serves many purposes, but its primary role involves the management of stormwater. In places where we once relied solely on concrete and pipes to quickly move stormwater, green infrastructure can be added to the system so that less stormwater enters those pipes. This bioretention basin is a good example. Bioretention basins can help cities deal with a common problem. In the past, rainwater that fell on these streets would flow directly into the drainage system, eventually combining with the city's sewage. In a heavy storm, water would rush into this system from drains across the city and could overwhelm the system. When the sewage treatment systems are not able to keep up with this flow, untreated sewage can overflow into nearby waterways. These bioretention basins help keep rainwater and sewage separate. When water drains off of a street, instead of flowing directly into the pipes, it flows into this vegetated basin, where it can soak into the soil. Some basins are designed with an overflow outlet. During stronger rains, it can flow into another part of the green infrastructure system, where it has a wider area to soak into the soil. By keeping this water out of sewage systems, green infrastructure plays a key role in keeping waterways clean. Green infrastructure comes in different forms, such as rain gardens designed to allow water to temporarily pool in an attractive wildflower landscape before soaking into the soil, bioswales that capture runoff from roads and parking lots, and stream bank restorations that prevent erosion and flooding. Whatever the form, they depend on native plantings to recreate natural water cycles. The native plants used in these projects are not only beneficial to pollinators, their root systems are very effective in stabilizing the soil and allowing water to more effectively infiltrate the soil. When the right native plants are chosen for a site, they can survive cold winters and hot summers without the specialized care that many cultivated ornamental plants require. Green infrastructure, effectively designed with the right composition of native plants, can develop into attractive, colorful additions to the community landscape. These attractive sites also perform a variety of ecological services, sequestering carbon to help mitigate global warming, filtering pollutants, and reducing thermal pollution by cooling runoff from hot pavement before it dumps into waterways. When these sites include tree plantings, they can also reduce the urban heat island effect, making hot summer days more comfortable. This green infrastructure strategy is not just about wildflowers and ecology. It can also be a part of an important cost-saving strategy. The cost of updating conventional stormwater systems to prevent flooding and overflow into waterways can cost millions or even billions of dollars. Incorporating green infrastructure to reduce the amount of water that enters these systems can save millions. But green infrastructure, like all forms of infrastructure, requires maintenance. Traditional gray infrastructure typically requires subsurface inspection, system flushing, repair or replacement of catch basins and pipes, and other potentially expensive capital improvements. Green infrastructure also requires regular, but typically less costly maintenance. A comprehensive maintenance plan is key to achieving the long-lasting form and function that green infrastructure can provide. In the early stages after installation, green infrastructure may require regular weeding and watering until the native plants become established. As the plants mature, watering will typically become unnecessary. Regular monitoring and removal of weeds will continue, but typically become less frequent. Curb cutouts, drains, and traps must be monitored and cleared of any sediment, trash, and debris. Most green infrastructure elements allow water to infiltrate the soil quickly. A basin that is holding water for extended periods of time needs to be assessed to determine what may be disrupting the flow or infiltration of water. When maintaining green infrastructure in public spaces, safety, mobility, and access must also be considered. Plants may need to be trimmed or removed if they cause visibility issues near roads or if they block walkways or access to hydrants or other structures. Communities that have successfully incorporated green infrastructure treat it as more than just a landscape feature. These installations play a valuable role in stormwater management, so they must be maintained with the same attention as other parts of the stormwater infrastructure. Communities in the Calumet are teaming up to share services for green infrastructure providing high-quality maintenance and ensuring that the sites are cost-efficient and performing as designed. When given this attention, green infrastructure can become an attractive, low-cost alternative to costly capital improvements to gray infrastructure, providing numerous economic, ecological, and aesthetic benefits, making the community a better place to live.